Old Paper Thailand is a company that uses Japanese technology to produce premium quality carbonless and thermal paper, not only to domestic but also international markets. It was established in 1996 in a subsidiary of OG Paper, but later became a subsidiary of OG Imaging Media, who also manages thermal paper and businesses in Japan, the US, and Brazil. We interviewed an export admin manager of OG Paper Thailand, who is responsible for international sales, shipping, contacting carriers, Thai custom, foreign trade department, and everything under that department. This is an important managerial role as not only that it is required for the mentioned responsibilities, but it also has the authority to manage internal control and is necessary for taking care of over every important step so that if there because if there are mistakes, it can cause the company to lose money from that error. Now that we know some background information about OJ Paper Talent, Let's take a look at the operation management. For the OM analysis of the company, let's start with OM decision number one, design of goods and services. The company designs and produces mainly two kinds of products, which are carbonless paper and thermal paper. There are three kinds of carbonless papers, including coated back, coated front, and coated front and back. As you can see from the picture, the company will coat the uncoated paper with the chemical from the microcapsules on the uncoated paper. Then the microcapsule will break into images. This process is called electroreaction. On the other side, we have thermal papers. And as you can see from the table, thermal papers are designed differently into different types of purposes. For example, facts and points of sales papers are not top coated, while printed CD and ATM receipt papers are not top coated or even top coated in some cases. Labor grade and lottery grade papers are top coded. And because the designs of goods and services, or OM decision number one, also defines the requirements of other operations management. So in this case, if there are two different products, then carbonless and thermal paper will require um, a little different OM decisions. For example, carbonless paper require lower cost because thermal paper uses more chemical amounts. And each paper uses different types of machines. Well, it's not exactly different types, but there's a little difference in the machines. And we'll see later about in the capacity design. Next, for quality management. As OG Paper in Thailand positions itself as a premium quality of company, their products will be high quality, which means that their employees need to be trained um, professionally by the organization. And that organization is called International Organization for Standardization, or the ISO. So here are their certificates, including ISO 9001, which reflects the efficient quality management system, and ISO 14001, which reflects the environmental management system. They also got certified with other certificates, including Forest Stewardship Council, and also Green System from Thai Ministry of Industry. Another quality control they do is that they do customer questionnaires every year, asking customers about the quality they feel from using their products. And that works because they achieve their quality expectations from um, customers all over Thailand and also more than 50 countries in America, Europe, Australia, Asia, and Africa. Moving on to process and capacity design. But today we're only focusing on capacity design. The capacity of this company is 2,500 tons per month, and the machines are running all the time because if it stops running, there will be a cost. There are two shifts, day and night, eight hours per shift. There is also a production queue, which will be responsible by the planning department. So the planning department is the department that knows the sequences and also the amount of orders, then they start the production cycle with other departments. So about the machines, to circulate the machines, the machines in this company produces the items separately in this fixed sequence. And the sequence started with coated back, and then coated front and back, lastly with coated front. They cannot rearrange the sequence as the machine produces them separately. So 
what happens if it's not on time? How to use the machines to use it on time for your customers? Well, in reality, there is this problem that is possible to happen, including broken machines, that could cause everything to be delayed, which is a waste of time. Based on the interview, the company would basically tell the customers the truth that the machine is broken and they cannot fix it on time. So most of the time, customers are not okay and there will be product claims. But there is also a way to fix it faster, but it also requires more cost. For example, normally the company transport the products via ships, but they have also tried something better, which is sending the airplane instead, which was actually faster, but also a lot more expensive. Another problem is that, what about if there is an increase in bonus that may also lead to production delays, as well as to broken machines? Here is how the company deals with it. The good thing is the company already prevent this problem from happening in the first place. Basically, they accept the number of orders that is exactly the capacity, which is 2,500 times per month. And then that is the number of orders, or even lower than that. So they would not accept um, any higher than 2,500. Another problem is that sometimes customers could not pick up according to the original date, and the products would be shipped the following month instead. And that would be carry over or inventory. However, in, for the capacity design, based on the interview, she says that it doesn't affect that much because normally the company usually don't have inventory. They are um, made to order, not made to stock. So even though there is some carryover or inventory, it won't be that big of a problem. Another way to deal with this is to deal with loyal customers first. If the orders decrease, then there needs to be a negotiation about how many orders should be placed. So if it's not as high as expected, 